Who <laughs> 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 good? Today with the Canopy Climbing Collective. Hi guys, how's it going? Today we're going to talk you through uh, our various chest harnesses starting with some of the more basic ones and then we're going to get to some of the more advanced ones and some of <laughs> some of our modifications and the certain things we do with our chest harnesses so starting off with these very basic sort of like sling type ones you have the full srt one and the notch one it's basically just a chest harness yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just put it on and put it attached. <laughs> yeah. like, the way I like this one is that you've got clips so, here, so it's easy just to take over it off. Your neck. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Straight off. So I like it. Just goes over. Yeah, so the 4 yeah, SRT yeah, one yeah. only has one like that. The notch has got a double one. Quite easy just to take it off over your head. Easy done. Even with, even with I, the helmet on, it's yeah, easy to same. take off. I actually clip my, uh, my knee ascender to the top of my chest sinus when I'm climbing. It's a little bit different some of the guys that have it round the back and over their shoulder, uh, but it still does give me you know, good ascent. Um, it's got some, you know, it's pretty tight there. Yeah, so, uh, nice. So moving on to some of the more slightly advanced chest harnesses that we use. Uh, I also use the Adele Rid. Joe will take you through a little bit of that. Um, so yeah, I suppose the, the difference with this is it serves more functions. If you've got a tendon point, uh, integrated near sender, and it also connects to the harness. So it can share, it helps to share some of that load, especially when you're carrying heavy stuff. But also I find even when you're pruning and things like that, it just spreads the weight over your shoulders so it's not all on your hips. Um, Personally, uh, I've got nothing to say because he said everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's a few different ways in which we attach it to our oh, yeah, harness yeah. as well. Like Joe's got the tree motion, so he uses just a little bit of throw just line. Just a little bit of throw line through the red ring on there is enough to sort of retain that. So taking these off is a bit more of a pain. You've got to take one of those off, unclip there. If you've got a helmet on, take that off mm -hmm. and then do that. So in that way, it's a bit more of a pain to take off than like the four SRT ones and the notch ones and then to pop it back on. But if on. you've got a pencil, then you can just put little carabiners on mm. and they fit like nicely that. into these little loops yeah. here. So. Yeah. That's nice and easy. You can just see it displaying what it looks like weighted. <laughs> yeah. You know also with the, uh, with the near sender setups as well, I suppose it might be going a little bit more in depth to that. <laughs> I'm going back to what we talked about. Try to have it where you haven't got too much bulk connecting your elastic and your tether. So if you can, try and get the tether spliced on, because obviously if you've got knots and things like that, it's going to get in the way of the rope travel going up and through there. Same again if you've got um, knots or beaners on, try and lock <laughs> fit it so you can have it going straight through and there's less drag. Have we said about and the then, plastic over both awesome. shoulders? And yeah. That's swiftly cool. moving on to some of the other options of chest harness. We've got the recoil one, obviously the brand new one with the hydration pack. So obviously um, this has got a hydration pack, but it's pretty much copying this design with an integrated near sender setup. So what I've done is put the elastic through this all the way round, which is already videoed, so you'll be able to see it. But it's all the way round for the molly pack adjust, adjustment just there, all the way through the mesh back on. So then I have like an integrated near sender setup. And Tommy pretty much has yeah, done. Yeah, the same. So following on from these guys, so like an integrated near sender into the straps. Same thing, spreading the weight of uh, the harness, but then an integrated near sender. So I just clip onto the foot and back up, and then measured, measured to perfection for the step. Measured to perfection. To perfection. And look, this goes all the way down to your center. Maximum elasticity. Having that sort of long length of elastic helps to make it quite comfortable and it helps the elastic to last, you know, the longest as well. So in all three of our setups, the elastic literally comes from the front, goes all the way to the back. So you've got that entire length giving you that stretch. So we basically Yeah, and that's our chest and uh, chest harnesses. Typos. <laughs> 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 a lot of editing to be done. Yes. A lot of editing then cuts. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>